Medroxy progesterone estate is a medication that is classified as progesterone. It is one of the synthetic hormone that is indicated for the management of secondary amenorrhea where this medication can be given to the woman for treating absence of menstrual periods. However, absence of menstruation may be possible due to any hormonal imbalances and when these menstrual periods are missed for at least 3 months, medroxy progesterone can be given to restore the hormonal balance and induce the menstruation. Medroxy progesterone can also be used for treating abnormal uterine bleeding. Again, this condition may be possible due to any hormonal imbalance. In such conditions, medroxy progesterone can control the uterine bleeding. This medication can also be used to reduce the incidence of endometrial hyperplasia. This is the proliferation of the endometrium, which is one of the precursor for developing endometrial cancer. Again, by restoring the hormonal balance, medroxy progesterone can reduce the endometrial proliferation. So, today in this video, we are going to discuss the key facts about medroxy progesterone. First of all, let us see what are the important precautions of this medication. Medroxy progesterone is a progestin, so it may produce some fluid retention. When fluids are more retained in the body, it results in excessive body volume. This may increase the edema as well as it can also increase the body weight. This fluid retention can affect many of the disorders. So, in the people with epilepsy, cardiac or renal dysfunction, the elevated levels of body fluids can further increase the risk. Even in people with asthma, the fluid retention may further reduce bronchial function and it can also increase the bronchospasm. In women with hypoparathyroidism, medroxy progesterone should not be combined with estrogens. Because estrogens can reduce the calcium levels, so in people with hypoparathyroidism, a significant hypocalcemia may be produced which can adversely affect bone mineral density. It may increase the risk of bone fractures. That's why in women with hypoparathyroidism, estrogen therapy along with medroxy progesterone may increase the risk. While using medroxy progesterone, check for any visual changes. In a few people, it may produce partial loss of vision. And if it is untreated, it may also lead to complete loss of vision. It may also produce blurred vision and double vision. In case of any retinal disorders associated with use of this medication, immediately this medication should be discontinued. Medroxy progesterone estate can act like cortisol. So it just acts like a glucocorticoid and it can produce suppression of adrenal function. This is because of the negative feedback mechanism to the hypothalamus and pituitary. This may result in the decreased plasma cortisol levels as well as low ACTH levels. So, it may produce hypothalamus pituitary adrenal access suppression that results in the symptoms like Cushing syndrome. So, people may have weight gain, edema, fluid retention and facial swelling. So, if you notice such symptoms, medroxy progesterone should be discontinued. This medication can affect your liver. It may produce temporary hepatic dysfunction. This may result in the elevation of liver enzymes. So, once you notice any hepatic dysfunction, temporarily discontinue this medication. And reuse of this medication is only suggested when liver functionality restores to normal. Few people may have negative effects on the glucose levels with use of medroxy progesterone. This may be due to a decrease in the glucose tolerance. Therefore, use of this medication for prolonged periods may produce elevated levels of glucose. This hyperglycemia is more troublesome in people with diabetes. Yes. Therefore, in diabetic people, careful monitoring of glucose is suggested when this medroxy progesterone is used for prolonged periods. Use of medroxy progesterone may increase cardiovascular complications. It can increase the risk of stroke and myocardial infarction. It can also increase the risk of pulmonary embolism and deep vein thrombosis. The risk may be more pronounced in the people with obesity, hypertension and diabetes. Chronic smoking and elevated levels of cholesterol can also increase the risk. Use of medroxy progesterone can affect your triglyceride levels. Particularly, it can increase the triglyceride levels leading to hypertriglyceridemia. This condition is more pronounced when medroxy progesterone is combined with estrogens. Therefore, in women with pre-existing hypertriglyceridemia, this combination should be carefully used. 
if triglyceride levels are not controlled properly they may impact the function of pancreas when these triglyceride levels are significantly elevated they may produce pancreatitis in such conditions medroxyprogesterone should not be combined with estrogens when you are taking the medroxyprogesterone try to monitor your blood pressure because this because this medication can elevate your blood pressure and this effect is again more pronounced when it is combined with estrogen therapy therefore regular monitoring of blood pressure is highly essential while taking medroxyprogesterone combining the estrogens with medroxyprogesterone can increase the efficacy in the treatment of endometrial hyperplasia when medroxyprogesterone is used alone it have less effect therefore estrogens are generally combined with medroxyprogesterone however this combination should be used for a short period when it is used for longer periods greater than 5 years they can induce ovarian cancer now let us the side effects of this medication since medroxyprogesterone is a synthetic hormone it can produce few of the hormonal side effects particularly it can produce abnormal uterine bleeding changes in the menstrual flow and it can also produce breast tenderness and galactorrhea few gastrointestinal side effects like nausea cholestatic jaundice can also be observed it can also produce fluid retention resulting in the edema and few skin reactions like urticaria and itching can be observed now let us see the doses of this medication medroxyprogesterone estate is available as tablets at three strengths 2.5 mg 5 mg and 10 mg for treating secondary amenorrhea medroxyprogesterone estate tablets are used at a dose range of 5 to 10 mg per day they can be given for 5 to 10 days they can be started at any time but after stopping the progestins withdrawal bleeding may occur after 3 to 7 days for controlling abnormal uterine bleeding again medroxyprogesterone can be used in dose range of 5 to 10 mg per day however it should be started on 16th to 21st day of menstrual cycle for reduction of incidence of endometrial hyperplasia medroxyprogesterone may be combined with estrogens where medroxyprogesterone can be started at a dose range of 5 to 10 mg and it is given for 12 to 14 consecutive days per month it can be combined with estrogens at a dose of 0.625 mg however lowest effective dose should be used in order to reduce the risk of complications with this combination so that's all about the medroxyprogesterone estate tablets i hope this video is useful to you if you really like this video please subscribe to our channel and share this video with your friends post your comments in the comment box thanks for watching see you in the next video